I'll go through a couple examples here um, with those types of um, clients that we're helping. So as a prospect becomes a client, that onboarding process of getting the funds where they need to be in terms of what we recommended for them. Um, we'll go to a couple scenarios. This first one is a little easier. This, uh, in this instance, it's a 60 year old. They've got some savings built up at the bank, about $100,000 looking for uh, better than next to nothing interest that they're getting right now in a, in a savings account. Um, Tony would bring them back to me. I would assist them in completing an application, uh, in this case for a five-year uh, fixed annuity. Um, a lot of those multi-year guarantee annuities with interest rates rising have been really popular, especially this year. Um, right in this, uh, in this example, they're gonna write a $50,000 check from the $100,000 savings. Uh, of course, I would get their driver's license. I'd get all the appropriate information. We would put that back in the file and send that along to Bowling Green for processing. Uh, some folks in Louisville, uh, we help explain that all the new business is processed in Bowling Green. So I get the process started, but Connie Fortney and Jennifer Jaggers, they would step into the fold and get that annuity application submitted, send that check along, just so we could get everything all, all where it needs to be. Uh, scenario two would be a little bit more involved. Uh, in this case, this will be a couple, uh, say 64, 63, they were already retired. They had a previous advisor who themselves actually retired and left the business. They came to us uh, wanting Tony Walker Financial to manage their brokerage account. So in this case, they had about $280,000 in a brokerage IRA. Not uncommon that we uh, help folks get this money moved over. In this case, however, they had 1.5% management fees. So in switching over to advisory services with our firm, we we're gonna be able to save them significantly in fees, but a lot of paperwork and a lot of movement of money would have to take place for us to help them. So in this case, we'd have to get in place an advisory agreement because we would be managing the money in that IRA. Uh, we'd have to get suitability information. Uh, we'd have to get the ISS, which is a strategy selection, whether they want it to be um, in the conservative, the moderate, or the growth strategy that we would set up for them. Of course, we'd have to get the IRA application with Charles Schwab. We'd have to get transfer forms. We'd have to make sure we have the most recent statement. We'd have to set up distributions and get avoided checks. So if they do want distributions sent to them monthly or uh, one-time, one-off distributions to their bank account, we would have all that set up. So A lot of moving parts oh, to yeah. that. and. I mean, apart from that initial paperwork, how much is on the client's backs once that paperwork is Very signed? little. That's a good point. We step in and take care of everything. So that's a lot of the time it's the paralysis by analysis. Folks decide not to do anything because of what they foresee the amount of work is going to be on, on them to have to do. But we step in and do everything. I th or they're intimidated by the financial world and don't even know where to start. That's I'm exactly not happy right. where I am, but I don't know how to get to where I want to be. Exactly. So. And if, if that one had enough moving parts, just wait for the next one. So. <laughs> Let's go. Scenario three, this is where we really shine as a retirement planning firm. So this would be a couple age 68 and 66. They are fully retired and what they have to plan for, uh, the husband had a pension, a 401k and a Roth IRA. Uh, the wife would have a 403B and a brokerage IRA that was rolled over previously from a, a 401k uh, prior. Well, so all of those are treated a little bit differently, right? Exactly. So, exactly. so the, the movements of money are unique. Okay. So in this instance, we had the pension, uh, which based on the plan that we had laid out, he wanted to do the lump sum rollover. Uh, of course, the 401k, we would handle that as a rollover as well. Uh, his IRA would be a transfer into a, a brokerage Roth IRA. Um, so with this, I've just kind of jotted down, there'd be a total of about 13 different documents that I would have to collect in order to get wow. into the plan that we had laid out. The, the plan we laid out would consist of two different uh, Charles Schwab IRAs, both with different strategies for the investments. And Wes can speak a little bit to the maintenance of these brokerage accounts here uh, in a bit. 
we would have an income annuity, an accumulation type annuity, um, and then of course the Roth brokerage IRA. On uh, the wife's movements of money, we'd have about seven different documents we would need to put in place for her business. Uh, that would consist of a 403B rollover, a brokerage IRA transfer. Um, of course, with these IRAs, we'd have to have liquidation calls. Again, none of this that the client would have to do on their own. If anything, we would have them on a conference call and our staff would assist them in, in conference calls. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like, check out these other clips and be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button for more videos.